Hi, this is Derek with Mobile Nations. We are at the Corning booth at CES 2013. I am here at the uh, Gorilla Glass display and I'm talking to Jim Nagel uh, with Corning and he's going to show us everything cool and fancy and new about Gorilla Glass 3. Okay, so the advantage of Gorilla Glass 3 is that we've been implemented native damage resistance. That means we've changed the molecular uh, atomic structure. We've changed the way that the binding occurs, and that means that there's less damage that occurs. We've eliminated what's called lateral cracking, and that means that you get uh, less splintering of the glass as a part of this. Okay. So if you look here, we've got three different forces that we've used, and if you, we use a diamond stylus to drag across the glass at a certain force. Here are two competitive glasses, Gorilla Glass 2 and then Gorilla Glass 3. What you'll notice is that on the Gorilla Glass, on the competitive samples, both of them have obvious scratches at the lowest level. Right. Gorilla Glass 2 doesn't, and obviously Gorilla Glass 3 doesn't either. However, when we go to the next level, 7 Newton, again, the two competitive glasses have scratches, the uh, Gorilla Glass 2 starts to show a scratch as well. However, we don't see it in the Gorilla Glass 3. And that's at 7 newtons. And that's at 7 newtons. Okay. And the same thing then occurs uh, at uh, 11. You start to see some level of scratching on Gorilla 3. And then Again, this is because of the way we've changed the atomic structure of the glass. Okay. It minimizes the damage that occurs to the glass. Uh, and it makes those damages, the scratches, less visible. And finally, when you drop the device after you've had a scratch, it's less prone to fracture as well. Now what Lisa is going to do is she's going to go through a demonstration. And Lisa, why don't, why don't you talk through what you've got? Sure. So what we have here, all of, all of these glasses that we have have been scratched at 7 newtons, similar to what you saw on the scratch box. Here we have the alternative glass, scratched at 7 newtons. It does have a scratch here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load it in this fixture, and I have a 135 gram ball. This is an industry standard for some tests, you know, that are used for safety standards. We're going to put this in here. We're at a 10 degree incline. I'm going to pull the pin and allow the ball to impact the glass. And that's broken. It is broken. <laughs> So, and you can see most of the fracture has radiated from the scratch that was previously on the glass. So now we're going to go to Gorilla Glass 3. This is also scratched with a 7 newton scratch. And you'll see the glass survived. That it did. Okay, but we don't stop there. Okay. <laughs> We're going to raise it up. We're going to raise the incline three times. Therefore, we're we're increasing the impact energy three times. Okay. What I'm going to do to give you an idea of what that impact is, I've got a piece of aluminum here. Okay. It's about the same thickness as the glass, just a flat piece of aluminum. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to pull the pin. And you can see there's a nice dent in that aluminum. Just to give you an idea how much of an impact it's, we're actually going to be hitting the glass with. Okay? So now I go back to Gorilla Glass 3. Again, scratched with a 7 Newton scratch. And I pull the pin. You can see we even got a couple, couple hits there. The glass still survived. Nice. And remember, this is scratched, already previously damaged, still survived the impact. What we can also do is take this glass out and I can show you. Even after that impact, what we have here is an industry standard ring on ring. And what I'm going to do is put a 100 pound load on that scratch, and you'll see that the glass still survives. That's pretty, that's impressive stuff. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, this was Derek with Mobile Nations at the Corning booth checking out Gorilla Glass 3 at CES 2013.